Before Mel Fisher Days, Key West is actually setting up for the Africana Festival, which begins today and will be lasting until Sunday. Now, visitors can discover the Afro-Caribbean heritage of America's southernmost city. Christopher Norwood will be sharing some of that heritage with us this morning. Christopher, thank you so much for being here and joining me. Very nice to be here. Well, it's great having you. Christopher, why did you decide that you wanted to have this festival in Key West? Well, I, I, I think there's really three reasons. Uh, one is uh, me and a group of, of my colleagues felt like we needed a, a place where um, thoughts about the community of, of, of African Americans, Afro Caribbeans around this country, we wanted a place where we could come together and share ideas and, uh, and share our experiences, uh, but also, two, vacation. Mm -hmm. And three, um, you know, learn about a local community's uh, uh, influence, uh, African influences as well. Mm -hmm. So it was those three things that we felt was the reason why we wanted to put something like this together. And we felt like Key West was a great location because of the cultural artifacts that are here. As well as um, this is such a beautiful community with a very uh, close Caribbean kind of uh, vibe here and African Americans uh, from around the country know nothing about it and so we felt that this was an opportunity to grow the tourism industry uh, here and, and show African Americans from around the country that Key West is a great place to come visit and vacation and learn coincidentally about some African artifacts that are here. Now why do you think that they they don't come to the Keys Christopher? You know that's that's funny. I, you know, I've always um, I've loved the Keys. Um, you know, I've spent time in so South Florida, and I, I really don't know why Key West has not become a destination for African Americans. I mean, African Americans spend more money when they travel per capita. I mean, per the amount of money that they have as a percentage of their income, more than any other traveler. Um, the in, and so and they and they, and they love traveling to Caribbean places, mm -hmm. and so here we have this Caribbean uh, gem right here in the United States, mm -hmm. and for some reason Key West is not on the radar, mm -hmm. and so I felt that if we developed a a reason for people to come here, that and do something that was innovative and thoughtful, that you know over time people would see uh, that Key West is beautiful, the people are inviting, um, the history around uh, the Bahamian culture that is here, the history of African Americans that have been here, the history of Africans that have been here uh, would definitely spark uh, interest in, in something long term. Mm -hmm. Do you love Key West, Christopher? Now you said you've been here right, before. Right. So I love I love Key West mm -hmm. because of the obvious reasons: uh, the weather, but more importantly, the people. Some of the stories of the goodwill of this community fits in extremely with the theme of our festival. For instance, the 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 story of the Africans that came to this community and were uh, rescued by the U.S. Navy. Uh, from slave ships and over 1,500 people and the goodwill of this community of housing these people over months time, housing them, feeding them, clothing them and then paying for ships to send them back to Liberia. I mean that's an ex extraordinary story about Africans and, and, and the history of this community and, and its interaction with Africans. But it's more of a story of the people of Key West. Mm -hmm. And so we're very happy to be here and, and, and we hope that we can bring a demographic of, of, of middle class African Americans who will come and, 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 and learn about this history and be inspired. And, and, and all it takes is, we feel it takes a small group of people from various urban centers around the country that can share that message by word of mouth and, and we can build something that can be yearly. That's mm -hmm. our hope. Well, a small group of people can definitely make a very big difference, Christopher. And Absolutely. <laughs> and so this is your first year. Mm -hmm. Do you have a large number of people coming down for this festival? Well, we have a, we, we're opening up our event to the local community as well. Mm 
Um, so uh, I think we, our intent has always been to be small. Um, we have the support of Visit Florida through the Minority Convention Assistance Grant, which is a small grant to help first-time minority conventions. And so we've decided to utilize that, it's a small little grant, to utilize that to try something on a first time basis and, and do something small so that we can learn from it mm -hmm. and build for the future. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people, when they do things such as this, they reach for the stars. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to do something that was small, that we can then learn from and, do, and build something from the bottom up. Mm -hmm. And so we have a nice group of people coming from around the country. We have people coming from New York, we have people coming from Philly, we have people coming from DC, we have people coming from Atlanta, we have people coming from uh, North Carolina, and then mm -hmm. we have a, a good contingent of people coming from South Florida as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think we're gonna have a fun time, we're gonna have mm -hmm. a good time, but we're gonna learn something at the same time as well. Wonderful, and I hope that this can continue each year, Christopher. Absolutely. I really do. We're gonna take a quick break right now, but when we return from these messages, Christopher will give us a rundown on everything that will be taking place this weekend. It's not just open for people out of the community, but also for locals. Stay with me.